All right, so we're gonna do a draft review, and as you can tell, I'm ecstatic to be doing this. What an awesome draft by the Rangers. We did so good. We did great. We did awesome. So, oh my God. If you follow me on Twitter, you know damn well I am very, very upset with this draft. Not at the players we got. Well, no. Ugh. Allow me to explain. Okay? I think er most of the players that we drafted are good players. Going into this draft, within the Rangers organization, NHL, CHL, everywhere. Every player that belongs to the Rangers. Everywhere. We have 18 defensemen within the organization. After this draft, we have 20 fucking five. I made a point. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm cursing already. I made a point of saying we need offense. Enough with this crappy... Enough with filling our covers with defense. I said at the trade deadline, I'm going to say it again. We ha I say it again. We have way too much fucking defense. And then this asshole, assholes, drafted with our nine picks, seven defensemen. What the fuck is going on? I mean, holy crap. Why? Why? What? And a goalie in the second round. What? Why? We have a million. We have, all right. Georgiev, Shesterkin, Wall, Nell, uh, Halverson, and Huska. Six goalies. You add another one, you fucking imbeciles. Why? Why? I, I, I am so disappointed in what they did in this draft these past two years. I am so disappointed. I can't even begin how... Oh my god, they... Uh, how do you fuck up a draft? You don't draft... Like, the whole reason for a draft, you don't draft your surplus. You don't. You draft what you need. We need fucking offense. I'm... When was the last time the Rangers had a go-to forward? Not Marion Garrick. I'm not even... Marion Garrick does not even freaking count. Because he was only here for one... Oh, yeah, he had two good years. He had two good years. The last go-to forward the Rangers had was Yaromir Yager. Before that was Wayne Gretzky in the 90s. I mean, come on. When are we going to learn our lessons? We're not going to win if we don't have fucking forwards. You can have five, six, 20 goal scores. It doesn't mean shit when it comes to the playoffs. You know, you need a go-to guy. You need a couple go-to guys. Every team that's won the cup has a go-to guy. The past three years, the Stanley Cup champions had their go-to guys, Crosby and Ovechkin. What are, are we not learning that we need a we need offense? Oh my god, I, I digress. Let's get into the fucking pick. You, oh my god, I'm so, you have no idea how frustrated I am at these picks. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. Zero sense why you draft this many defensemen. <sighs> Vitaly Kravtsov. People are up in the air about this. I have no idea who the hell this kid was for the most part until I read up on him a little bit more. I knew he was the KHL Rookie of the Year. I knew he was going in the first round. I didn't think we were going to pick him ninth overall. TSN had us drafting him at 28th overall. Why we picked him so... Uh, apparently the Rangers scouts, no other scouts in the NHL, so it was just the Rangers scouts, had him ranked number two forward in the draft. No fucking idea. No idea how they had him ranked number two forward in the entire draft. But hey, what do I know? Only five GMs saw... Yeah, there's only five forwards picked ahead of him. Six forward, rather. And we, we thought, second best. I don't think he's a bad player. Watch him play a little bit. He's good. He'll be good. Don't think he'll be great. He'll be good. He's big. He's fast. Um, I'm not doing this on the... Uh, I'm still tired of using OBS. It's been driving me crazy. So I'm just doing my face. Uh, he's 6'4". He's 183. <clears throat> he's, got, he's got one more year left on his contract in the KHL. Excuse me, the KHL. Um, but he, he can be bought out of that last year. And he can come over to North America. If the Rangers see it fit... He can play, uh, maybe on the NHL next year, but the AHL, he can play North America next year, though, so. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, Kravstov. I'm, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to rate every pick. Okay, I'm going to give him two ratings. I'm going to rate them on player, and I'm going to rate them for the organization. For the player, 8 out of 10. For the organization, 10 out of 10. You needed a forward. So, I think it's an organizational need, and we met it. Second, Keandre Miller. As a player, 10 out of 10. Could not pick the better guy. I love Keandre Miller. The guy's a 
beast. Keandre Miller is a very, very good defender. American. I can appreciate that. Uh, we won't see him for like two or three years. So he's going to go to the University of Wisconsin and touch up on his game. I'm not against... No, I'm against it. I, I think for an organization, I give this... 4 out of 10, only because he's as good as he is. Stupid. Stupid. Because we traded a second round pick, 48th overall, and 26th overall, for 22nd overall, to draft a fuck on the French man, which we have a surplus of! <clears throat> which I thought was a little unnecessary. I thought, although, Keandre Miller's a freaking beast, alright? Um, yeah, I think Keandre Miller was one of the better players in this draft. I just... I don't see a reason trading up for a defenseman. That could have very well just dropped you. I I like him. I think he's really good. I just don't think it's what we need. 6'4", another 6'4", 200-pound player. Nils Lundqvist, defenseman. As a player. 7 out of 10. As an organizational need, 0 out of 10. Here we go. Uh, as an organizational need, 0 out of 10. Uh... As a player, I say 7 out of 10 because he was he was supposed to go within the top 20, even the top 16, and he dropped. So I guess they just drafted the best player on the board. He's only 5'11", 172, so he's a little bit small. We we won't be seeing him anytime soon. He only played 28 games last year in the SHL. Uh, he split it between that and uh, the minors, basically. We're, this guy's two, three years away from being in North America, let alone in the NHL. He'll... Being the, I don't think he's ever going to pan out. I don't. I don't. I don't see it in this kid. He's a good player. I just don't know if he's going to be good in North America. I don't know if he's going to come over here and be an NHL defenseman, especially with all the competition that we have right now. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if at one point this year, if we decide we want to make a trade, that he's one of the guys that gets traded. Just saying. Uh, good player. Not what we need. Olaf Limbaum, the goalie. Six one one seventy two. Here's what fucking gets me. We drafted him 39th overall. He was the fifth best ranked goalie in the draft. And he was the first goalie taken off the board. He was ranked 53rd, 91st, 259th, and 137th. Why the fuck did we pick this guy 39th overall? With forward still on the board. Anybody. Anybody? Anybody? Be <laughs> Tell you what. Because after we fucking drafted this guy. After we drafted this kid, let me see. Where's the draft order? Where's the draft order? Uh, I guess we'll go to HockeyDatabase.com. Um, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Take a look at the draft order. Um, okay. So we drafted him. Guess who was picked right after him? It's a positional need. A center. Ryan fucking McLeod, who they thought was going to go in the first round. Jack Drury. Son of Chris Troy, or nephew of Chris Troy. Center, what we need. Ruslan Ishakev, no idea who it is, but it's a fucking center. Akil Thomas. Ben, Benoit Olivier Gordolo, who was thought to go in the first round. Didn't draft him. No, nope, drafted a fucking defenseman. Jacob Olsen, defenseman. Just, it, it just, it makes you wonder what the fuck is going on. Organizational need, zero. Player, five out of ten. He's not even that good. He played in the in the in the Swedish minors last year, a 310 goals against and an 897 save percentage. Against kids his own age in in uh in the World Juniors 18U, we had a 1.66 goals against and a 949 save percentage. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. But we don't need another goddamn goalie. Uh, Jacob Ragnarsson, another defenseman, organizational need zero as a player. Hmm. Five out of ten? Six out of ten, maybe? Projected to go between 120 and 260. Drafted 70th overall. 70th. And we drafted a fucking defenseman. Another defenseman. Ragnarsson is he's six foot, he's 176, he's small. Um, he played in Al Savan Khan League. Not bad. 13 points, 47 games. I don't know much about this kid. I just know we don't need defense and we drafted a defenseman, so. Uh, Joey Keane, defenseman. 0 out of 10 for organizational need as a player. 
six, seven out of ten. Scores a lot. Assistant coach, uh, assistant captain of the Barry Colts last year. He had twelve goals and forty-four points, in sixty-two games. Six foot, one eighty-five. Another small defenseman, American. Um, ranked between ninety-nine and two seventy-nine. I don't know why they were in the two seventies. Was there ten rounds this year? Whatever. I guess. I guess in terms of prospects, the the prospects ranked one to. However many prospects from the draft, Adam ranked 279th, and we drafted him 88th. So, yep. So yeah, moving on to 101st pick, we drafted another defenseman, Nico Gross, out of Switzerland. 6'1", 185, organizational needs zero, positional like as a player. This pick I actually kind of liked, as a player. This one I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Because he was thought to go between 2nd and 3rd round. The beginning of the 2nd, end of the 3rd. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, end of the 2nd round, late in the 3rd round. So we definitely got a guy that dropped back a little bit further than he should have. But um, we don't need defense. I don't know how... Oh, God, that looks gross. I think it all cuts up. I had a hockey tournament today. Got tripped a couple times and landed where I shouldn't have. Um, stupid pick. Still wouldn't draft him. I, I, I still would have drafted forward. We needed forwards. I don't know why we have so many GD defensemen. Ah, finally, we get to a forward. It took all the way to the fifth round to get our second forward of the draft. Lori Paj, Pajuniemi. Uh, he actually played with, uh, I think he played, I think this is the Virta kid. He played with Patrick Virta in TPS. In the league, uh, six foot, 183. Uh, seven points in 32 games last year. Pfft. 10 points in the, uh, 10 points in 14 games in the junior league. Not bad. We probably won't see him for two to three years. I don't. He doesn't, he doesn't look great. I want to look more into him. I. I didn't see much about him. Um. Moving on to the sixth round, we drafted another defenseman, six three one ninety, Simon Gelberg. Kjelberg. Um. And this one was so off the fucking board that no one even ranked him. No one had him going anywhere. Not McKean's. Not for future considerations. Um, not McKenzie, not NHL Central Scouting, not NHL European Scouting. Not even HockeyProspect.com had this guy projected to go anywhere. And we drafted him in the sixth round, sure enough. Um, yeah. 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 He played in the Swedish minors last year. He had nine points in 43 games. Defenseman. Another defenseman. <sighs> Related to Joel Kjellberg, I almost, I don't know. I thought I, I thought I knew someone with the last name Kjellberg and played in the NHL at some point. Organizational needs, 0 out of 10. As a player, 3 out of 10. Not special. Riley Hughes, interested in this kid. Uh, some people spoke very highly of him, some people didn't. Um, ranked between 113 and 208. We got him at uh, 216. Um, forward, so I'm happy. So as an organizational need, 10. As a player... Uh, he played in high school last year, and he only played two games in the USHL, and he was a minus two. No points. Uh, he's going to Northeastern in the NCAA next year. Uh, I mean, a lot of people had him listed as a dark horse in this draft. Um, uh, some people were pretty happy about this pick. Again, once we get this, I'm, my expertise is only through, like, the first, th throughout the first round, halfway through the second round, maybe at the end of the second round. After that, I'm really, I really don't know very much about these players. Uh, I don't spend that much time looking at uh, prospect reports and all that crap. Uh, I like this pick. I mean, yeah, we got it forward. Just took us to the seventh round to freaking do it. I just... Uh, I don't know. I, I am I'm still disappointed in this draft. I am very disappointed. Seven defensemen drafted. Really? Or six defensemen? What, what the hell it is? Two defensemen would have been too much in this draft. Uh, when you need forwards. So, yeah. You know, if you guys don't know, besides the players that we drafted, how many defensemen we had in the organization, just go on my Twitter. I, uh, I posted the names of all the defensemen that are within the Rangers organization. and uh, Just add five more, because it was done after the first round. Ended, so, just add five more. <sighs> go from there. I just don't think it makes any sense. I, I don't understand. Unless there's some play going around that is... That is killing only people that play defense. Then there is no reason to have this many defensemen. There is zero reason. 
Um, it's it's absolutely unnecessary. You there is there is not a single team in the world that is going to tell you that they need 25 defensemen within their organization and not laugh. I mean, I almost feel like they were playing a drinking game, like a shot for every defenseman we have in the organization because Jeff Gordon just died of alcohol poisoning. Um, and they were drinking fucking old duels, which is not even alcoholic. So yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm very disappointed in the draft. And first of all, Igor Aranko, fuck you, buddy. All right. You put out that report uh, a few months ago. Oh, the Rangers signed Ilya Kovalchuk. And he signed with L.A. today. So we going to get an explanation on that? Or we're just going to pretend he didn't say that. I'll wait. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm disappointed in this draft. I had very high hopes in this draft. We had six picks in the first three rounds. Some crap like that. Seven picks in the first three rounds. We traded one of them and we used the other five on fucking defensemen and a goalie. I mean, come on. I thought it was a very shitty job. I thought they did a terrible job. I, I, I don't, I'm trying to put in my head, what is the vision? What, what are we looking at here? What, what's the goal? Are we going to fucking, are we going to dress 18 defensemen a fucking night? Are we just not going to have forwards anymore? I don't know. I, I want to know. I, because, I don't know. I just, you can see how dumbfounded I am. I don't even know. I'm waiting for someone to wake me up because I feel like I'm in a dream right now because it just it doesn't make sense. It no no one needs that many defensemen. No one does. Twenty five defensemen in an organization is just way too much. I I, I don't know I mean, because also the way I see it is you're knowing that we have all these uh, defensemen right. You're just wasting draft picks at this point. Because defensemen that you draft in the fifth and sixth, these guys aren't going to make the NHL. Not over, not over Libor Hashik, Ryan Lindgren, Tony D'Angelo, um, Pionk, Gilmore, Shattenkirk, Shea. Oh my God! I, I just, I, I don't, I don't see it. I, I can't make any. I can't make heads or tails of it. I really don't understand what the hell they're trying to do. It, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It. There is no sense to be made out of this, to have this many defensemen. Again, unless there is some disease going around that is straight up killing defensemen. Just if you play ice, if you play ice hockey and you play defense, there's some kind of play going around and, and, and they're dropping like flies. Yeah, you're probably going to want a lot of them. But I'm, I've, I'm unaware of such a epidemic happening right now. So I, I, don't, I don't know why we need this many defensemen. I, I have no idea. No idea. I, I, I'm trying in my head... To either stay positive or justify what they're doing. But there is nothing to justify or stay positive about in a situation like this. There just isn't. There just isn't. To have this many defensemen. It's it just... it. It's infuriating. Um, especially because at the trade deadline, I was complaining that we, we have way too many defensemen prospects now. Um, you got Rykov. Unnecessary. You could have gotten a forward prospect out of New Jersey. You didn't need Diego or Rykov. Uh, Ryan Lindgren, I guess we didn't have a choice. I don't, I don't think Boston was coughing up any of their other forward prospects. So, I, I don't know. I, ju I just... I, I can't... Pro I can't. It, it makes no sense. What's the strategy? Do you plan on trading 15 of, of the 25 defensemen? Because, again, 25 guys... You can't even dress 20... You can't even have 25 players on an NHL roster. So, the fact that we have more NHL... The fact that we have more defensemen in our organization that you can put on a roster is a problem. How is prospect camp? What are they going to do at prospect camp? Are they just going to have, like, six teams? Got enough defensemen to do it. I mean, holy shit. You could make four teams, and you would still have an extra defenseman. Just saying. Just saying. So, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I'm at a complete loss. I don't know. I'm... I'm Oh, I'm going to stop rambling. You guys comment down below what the hell you think. I don't know. I think it's too much. I think it's stupid. I think we needed forwards. And I think there's no... You don't draft surplus. You draft what you need. That's what the draft is for. Unless they, in their heads, are like, oh, we're going to draft this kid, let him become a good prospect, and trade him. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Bec I, comment down below your thoughts. I'm upset. I don't like this draft. I thought they did terribly. Uh, on a scale of one to... On a scale of A, B, C, and D, and F... On how they did, I'm giving the Rangers a fucking straight up D. I'm giving them D. They don't get they, they they drafted so terribly, they're not even getting a C. They got a D for this draft. 
a giant D. I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment down below.